Hey everybody, this is Tony from Really Cool Designs Inc. Today we're going to take a look at the making of the really cool stool. This video is going to take us through the steps in the making of Generation 3, jam-packed with features like a built-in guitar stand, higher backrest, and the new all-in-one frame supporting the footrest slash drink holder. And also we raised the guitar cutout so that it is visible from the front and the back. And these pictures are of a sunburst, custom finish for a local guitar player. Hey, any additional questions or comments, you can always reach us at reallycooldesigns.com. And we thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy. And remember, all of our stools are 100% real wood, no particle board, no MDF. Well, we may as well start at the beginning, and it all starts in the shop. And Generation 3 consists of 10 major parts. They're constructed of 3 quarter inch birch plywood, cabinet grade, as well as poplar, and inch and a half thick pine for the footrest slash drink holder. First, we trace the template. Then we cut it into the rough shape to produce more manageable pieces. Then we attach the rough shape to the template and to ensure an exact replication of each piece, we run it through the router. And as a reminder, these stools come in black, brown, cherry, espresso, as well as mahogany red as standard finishes. And as always, feel free to contact us for any custom finishes that you may have in mind. And if you have a wood species preference, we can do anything with the matching veneer and hardwood. For example, you want it done in mahogany, we would use the mahogany veneer and the mahogany hardwood to match. Same goes with oak, maple, ash, etc. Now that we have all the pieces cut, we will start the assembly procedure by marking the screw holes, proceed to drill and screw. And as most woodworkers know, pre-drilling is key to no strip, no split, and no creaking when the product is finished. As we separate the template from the side frame, now we proceed to go ahead and sand, get all those ugly pencil marks off, make that beautiful wood shine. Preparation is almost everything, as we know with wood finishing. All right, we're ready to start assembling the sides to the middle guitar cutout frame. And you'll notice we're doing this in two different phases. You will see the retrofit phase, which is unfinished. And you will see the final assembly that actually has the finished pieces. And the finish consists of Delta high grade lacquer, as well as a Unilac clear coat. Many, many clear coats on these bad boys, ensuring a long lasting, no scuff product. The entire chair is put together with two inch fasteners. That is number six shank, two inch fine thread bugle head screws. These are monsters. And in addition to the two inch screw, we use a washer on the base to prevent any slipping of the screw for many years to come, as it is the foundation of the chair. And this is our first peak of the frame in its upright position. We'll go ahead and put the screws into the seat support. Also two inch screws, pre-drilled. Next we have the cutout 
that will cantilever brace the footrest to the all-in-one frame. And notice in this upcoming side view, you will see the major difference in the Generation 3. The two protruding tiers support the footrest, allowing us to eliminate the original footrest support, causing it to look just a little bit cooler and be a little lighter. This unique piece is the top of the guitar stand. Notice the zigzag shape, which locks in the neck and prevents the dreaded guitar fall. And onto the attaching of the hardwood back to the upright frame. Notice the same pre-drilled two inch screws. Here is the pick shaped seat, very large, very thick cushion, very comfortable. Also pre-drilled and screwed. Here is the bottom portion of the guitar stand. Folding up and let's add some molding. And the solid poplar front cap. The pre-drilled two inch screws are hidden by wooden dowels, which we glue and just beat them on in there. They are there to stay. Notice the clamps on the backrest. The backrest cushion is glued onto the hardwood so that there are no penetrations in the cushion nor in the back of the backrest. Just a nice shiny hardwood piece. And that about does it for the making of the really cool stool generation 3. And as always with any additional questions or contact information please reach us at reallycooldesigns.com. Remember, it comes in all different assorted colors. If you have a custom request, we would be more than happy to fill it for you. Thanks. Until next time, have a good one.